If the sky one one day happens to fall completely, there's nothing that we can do about it anyway, right? Like once it falls, it falls. And then we figure out what the next thing is, right? And again, depending on what you believe in or what your faith system is, if you think there's a next thing. And then that's that, right? Our ride's over, we give our ticket. We're not sure what's next on the next ride, right? We have no idea. We just give our ticket in. What's up? So good to see all you guys and girls. Hope you're having a phenomenal summer. Hope you're in good health. Family's good. Animal's good. Your pet parakeet. Hope your pet parakeet. Sparky is good. All the things. And when I look at the world today, like what the state of play is today in the world, uh, and when people say the sky is falling, uh, I say true. True. The sky is falling. I think the sky has been falling since a sky was created. It's been slowly falling. Regardless of all the things that are going on in the world right now, today, babies were born. Right? Today, I saw this young lady cat who I haven't seen forever. I remember her when she, you know, before kids born, before all that stuff. And I met her two year old daughter, her beautiful two year old daughter, and her, her brand new, brand new, almost fresh out the womb son. Right? And I haven't seen this woman in such a long time. And I'm looking at this innocent, pure, literally pure child, right? Playing in the sand. And I'm saying to myself, this is what, this is what like life is worth living for, for these moments, right? The fact that even though we're in a floating rock somewhere in space or the universe or whatever, regardless of who's controlling it or who's what, whatever, whatever galaxy we're in, if we're in a galaxy, whatever your beliefs are, the fact that as a human being, I can wake up today and I can see something as beautiful as that, or as an individual, I can wake up today and I can love the people in my life. That's what makes this life worth living, regardless of where the sky is. And so you know, if the sky one, one day happens to fall completely, there's nothing that we can do about it anyway, right? Like once it falls, it falls. And then we figure out what the next thing is. Right. And again, depending on what you believe in or what your faith system is, if you think there's a next thing and then that's that. Right. Our ride's over. We give our ticket. We're not sure what's next on the next ride. Right. We have no idea. We just give our ticket in. So while you're enjoying the ride here, don't ruin it for other people because you can't see past the front of your face or you can't see past your wiring. And that's one of the hardest things for people to understand. You know, if you look at what images you've seen since you were little, right? All of it has kind of led you into who you are right now. Like society has made, you know, you think a certain way. I'm, there's this um, podcast by Malcolm Gladwell. He's like my favorite author. It's revisionist history. And every season I, I listen to it, he's talking about, you know, the detriment of some of these Disney movies that they've remade, right? And you, you go back and, you know, me and my wife were talking about it today and we're like, you go back and you think, you know, why do women always need to be saved? Right. In these like stories, like women are always weak. Right. Now the new ones are coming out with Moana and Mulan, Mulan and, you know, like that, like that's a little bit different, but like for the most part, there's always some guy coming in and saving. Now I have a daughter. I don't want my daughter to think that she can't save herself. Right. Just like, I don't want my daughter to think that she can't save someone that needs to be saved. But it's entertainment, right? You watch these movies, and it's the same thing. Everything that you see is like it's putting certain people up and certain people down. But it's in the form of entertainment. You can't even listen to music these days because one, you don't understand what the hell they're saying. And two, it's all negative. Like it's all like there's no like the days of like happy music is very few and far between. It's always some type of drama or some type of like bad thing that's happening, right? So it's all been shaping your wiring. And if you feed into it, like if you watch the news every single day, every day, you turn up, the first thing you do, you start your coffee is watching the news. It would be very hard. You'd have to be very strong mentally 
not to think that the world's over. Every day, right? The world's over. Now, this is the day. This is it, right? So I'm saying this to let you know that this the sky falling is, isn't anything new, right? As long as there's been humans in power, the sky has been slowly falling. But today you woke up and you're able to enjoy, hopefully, put all this, compartmentalize all this nonsense and craziness and enjoy each other and enjoy the day and focus on the things that are important. You know, I don't focus on things that, I don't focus as much on things that I can't control. There's certain things that are out of my reach that I can't control, right? I can't control if a meteor comes and, you know, hits the planet and we need to send Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck on a flight to spaceship to, to save the world. I can't control that. I can control how I'm going to show up today. So control how you show up today. Uh, stop being so dismissive of, of, of other people. Uh, don't make the free thinkers pariahs. That's what society does. We make the free thinkers pariahs. Don't make them pariahs just because they don't think like you. Instead, maybe try to figure out why they think that way. Right? If they're people that you care about that you want to have that conversation with. All right? So I'll see you soon. Love you all. Hope you have a phenomenal day. All right. Talk to you guys soon later.